Hey, how's it going? It's me, Hayden, filming another video for Phoenix Music. In today's video, we're going to be having a go at improving our grooves and rhythm for Tech House. This tutorial was actually suggested. I'll put the comment somewhere around here. But yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. And um, if you find anything today's video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop a like down below, and feel free to leave a comment suggesting a tutorial you want me to make in the near future. Uh, feel free to go and check out the Phoenix Music website if you want a samples pack or a masterclass. The link is in the description or you can simply go to phoenixmusicshop.com. But let's begin. So let's start off by getting a kick drum. Let's just go for this one for now. So we'll add this kick drum in. Let's go for 126 BPM. Duplicate a few of these across. We now have that, but let's turn it down a little bit and then put a limiter on the master channel. We can adjust the volumes a little bit more, I guess. About there should be good. Now we'll need a clap. At the moment, I'm basically just getting in all the essential drums. So a kick, a clap, and a hat. And then after we've had, after we've added those three things, we can start to get creative with the rhythm. Let's go for this one, I guess. That's what we have so far. Now let's add a hat. Let's go for this one. So that's our beat. Now we can start building some rhythm, I guess. We can start by adjusting the sustain on these hats because they sound a bit too sustained in my opinion so what we can do is we can adjust the uh, transient effect by doing this here and then turning it down here so if I show you what it sounds like at 100% and about let's go for 38% makes it sound more shorter and stabby So let's go for about 45. That's probably a good amount. You can use sustained hats in Tech House, but it usually has a bit more of a techy groove if the hats are shorter. Yeah. Then what we can do is we can get some kind of stuff to build on the rhythm maybe a more sustained hat we could do something with that maybe so something like put that there pan it a little bit to the right maybe just to make it sound more interesting so already that's made it sound a bit more groovy 
we could always add something else. What happens if we add a snare maybe? Let's go for a 909 snare. Yeah, this one should do. We'll add this in, and this could maybe go here, perhaps. We'll turn it down a bit. Or what happens if I put it there, keep the ribbon going. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. But then what we can do is if we make the snares a little bit lazy by moving them so they're not perfectly on the grid, then that will add even more groove. And then we're getting into the kind of area of what we would call swing, which is where some of the percussion sounds a bit lazy, I guess you could say. Like it's not perfectly on the beat, it's kind of a little bit later, or in some cases a little bit early, but we're going to go a little bit later. And I guess we could do the same thing with the hat as well if we really wanted to, like that. So it still sounds in time, but it gives a slight bit more rhythm to it, a bit more of a vibe. Then we can get a hat loop, perhaps. Something like this, maybe. And this will help really fill it up. But because we've already got this sustained hat here, I won't keep the whole thing, otherwise it'll interfere with our rhythm we've already built. So instead, I'm just going to have the first part. Then what we can do to add more rhythm is we can go into the sample, the loop, and we can add a bit of swing to the hats as well. Just like that. The, so now we're basically adding swing to the loop. Not a lot but it will make it a bit more groovy. Do it here as well. So now we have... So as you can hear, that's starting to have a bit of a groove. Then I guess what we could do is we could add a bit of bass, why not? <laughs> and let's go to here, just about this one. Yeah, that one should be good. Let's pick a key. Let's go for G maybe. I don't use G very often and I sh probably should because it's a pretty good key. <laughs> So, I'll put some side chain on the bass. Something simple like that should be. Turn it down a bit. Now let's try and build a bass line, I guess. We can also put a little bit of swing on the bass as well if we want. So maybe something like this. Or we could maybe do... Yeah, 
and then maybe do a little bit of swing on this last note here. Yeah, something like that. And then go back into this afterwards. But then on the end, we can leave that bit empty and we can maybe double up on the kick. And then double kick on the end. Something like that. Then if we put the loop on. One thing we could do, which I've started doing a lot recently, because I feel like it gives the track a cool vibe, is we could do a reverse kick drum. And where could we put it? Put it here, maybe? Do that. Yeah, do another one here. Turn it down a bit so it's not as loud as the actual kick. And now we have. And yeah, that's our little Tech House track. And the groove sounded pretty good, I think. And you can basically just build on this. You can add some laser sounds, maybe put a bit of swing on some other percussive elements, maybe a bongo, and you can just build from here, really. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop a like down below, and feel free to leave a comment suggesting the tutorial you want me to make in the near future, and go check out the Phoenix Music website. Link in the description, or simply just go to phoenixmusicshop.com, and I'll see you in the next one.